Westworld theory. The weapon Dolores is referring to is the fact that she's pregnant with probably William's baby. <laughs> okay, let that sink in humanity. If only that was possible. Can you imagine a human and a robot baby? That would be so creepy. Hi, I'm Angela Serafian. I play Clementine Pennyfeather on Westworld, and I'm about to read some of these, I think, interesting fan theories. Watch out, bitches. Okay, remember Clementine was decommissioned with that drill thing up her nose? Yeah, I remember that really well. And then she was put away in long-term storage where Maeve found her. Yeah, it's really sad. She probably needs some work. I know. I completely agree. They should reconnect those wires that went through this nose. What is it about Clementine dragging men along the ground that's so attractive? I was dragging with two fingers, by the way. Two fingers. And it was all me. No stunt, nothing. It's, it's all, it's really me. The execs are turning humans into hosts. What? No. They're mapping behaviors and patterns to translate that data into hosts in an attempt to sell immortality. Hmm, interesting. Why pay for the experience when you can be it? Westworld. I like that one. But it's false. Clementine didn't just take a level up in badass, she took a level up in horror movie. It's probably true. Very true. In Westworld's finale, two guests open the door to Fantasy World and walk into episode one of Game of Thrones. Holy <laughs> That would be f***ing amazing. Welcome to the HBO Cinematic Universe. I mean, that, I, I would love for Clementine to go into Game of Thrones for sure. Here is my At Westworld HBO season two theory. We are looking at two Bernards, not a past, present scenario, but two separate hosts both Bernard. Hmm. I don't know about that. All right, Dolores from Westworld is every woman's inner PMS personality. Oh my God. <laughs> that's pretty embarrassing. But I very much relate to that because that's how I feel sometimes. All right, the robots are still following their programming. They're not becoming sentient. That's my theory. I think Dr. Ford programmed them to revolt and fight for freedom. They keep mentioning how this whole event was all made for William. Interesting. Is Dolores' big weapon on Westworld just her skincare routine? I know, God, she has such great skin. I hate her. Was Dolores recording seeing even when she was paused when JD and William were talking about their marketing plans in Westworld? What? 